Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing on an 1.5 days revision study plan for paper 3. You have done with your law paper, somehow went well for some of them or some persons it's not going well. So we are just now we are close with everything in paper 2 and we will just move on to paper 3. Okay, in paper 3 we have second day evening and third January full day we are having fourth first half that is morning session we are having because our examination is going to happen on the afternoon session. So effective hours like we, how we studied as a effective interest effective hours we will get maximum 20 hours it is less than one day approximately if I want to tell it is one day 18 to 20 hours. So this is a crucial time you need to focus on the formulas, you need to do important problems, you need to do a complexity of the problems, everything you need to do. Once you are done with your law exam, I will start my plan at 7 a.m. Sorry, 7 p.m. I have start. Post evening, I will start. After the uh, exam is get over by 5 o'clock, maximum every student will reach a home by 6.30 or something. Take a break and start sit studying at 7 p.m. till 9 p.m. The most important chapter in the entire module is time value of money. Okay. Revise those formulas and do MTPs. You can do last uh, six attempt MP MTPs. If it is six attempt, each and every attempt is two. So total 12 MTPs you can do. Okay, this 12 MTPs, let's say take approximately time value of money is going to test you for 10 questions. You will get 8 to 10 questions approximately. You will get 120 questions. 110 to 120 questions you will get. Solve those questions within 2 hours. Practice it. You are already having an answer key beside the module. You can do that. Then, from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m., you will take the break and we will move on to 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. You will do logical reasoning. All chapters, all four chapters you need to do. Do some shortcut tricks and revision tricks. Whatever we have taught in the class, you can do. Whatever your faculty has taught, what you have learned through self-study, you can do. And here and there, you will do random sum solving. Okay, no full-fledged sum solving, you will do random sum solving. So, your mind will be a little bit fresh when you have a little bit interest on logical reasoning in the evening session. We are not focusing much on logical reasoning because your examination, you know one thing, kindly listen it properly. Your examination is going to be a paper like something which is like, first question will be logical reasoning maybe, first, then second logical, third will be stat, again stats question. Fifth question will be stats question and then from math, then from math, then from math. This and all will be tested. Not like logical reasoning, statistics, math. Math, statistics, logical reasoning. They never test you like this. They, if we come for logical reasoning, the, remain, the next two to three questions will be from logical reasoning. From different chapters. Statistics, if they take, they will ask from statistics for the next five to six questions or three to four questions. So, here, paper is difficult because of this scenario, not because of the portions you have studied. You need to think differently for each and every different question means it will become very tough for you. So, to tackle this, to tackle this, what you need to do, just I will get back to a study plan. Before that is the important thing I need to discuss. In first 60 minutes, you need to visualize and see 75 questions. And you need to be able to answer 40 questions correctly. Then another 60 minutes, you will be do remaining 25 questions plus pending in those 75. You have only attend 40, no? The remaining 35 questions are there. Correct? That's 35 questions. 
you can see put together if you could properly answer 20 question it is more than sufficient if 60 questions are properly correct maybe four mistakes will committed or six mistakes will be committed approximately you can score easily 50 plus marks minimum 50 plus is guaranteed okay and one more thing you need to note down is first question if i need don't start with logical reasoning if you have good clarity on statistics and mathematics those who could not have properly studied mathematics do logical reasoning in your examination you know one thing in my examination what i have done i have attended nearly 85 to 86 questions out of which mathematics i attend statistics i attend approximately five questions only i have left okay from this 80 mark category I left five questions. Then from logical reasoning, even though I know every concept, I never touch logical reasoning in my examination. But I am 200% have prepared. But the one thing is my time constraint. When I getting into the logical reasoning, each and every question will minimum consumes two minutes. So make sure you are taking logical reasoning as your last priority. Okay, and in this, I have attended only 10 questions, maximum 10. I don't know exactly, 8 to 10 questions only I have attended. On the result day, I have scored somewhere around 68 to 68 or 69. Don't know exactly what's the mark. 68 or 69 I have scored. Okay, so make sure this strategy will work. My students are also tested this strategy and they have cleared their examination. If I know first question, I know whether I will know this question or not. Whether the, my first question is from probability. I know, I know myself that I have prepared well in probability or not. If I don't prepare well in probability, just leave the question and move on to next question. My second question also from probability. Immediately leave and then move on to next question. My third question is from measures of channel tendency. I have prepared very well. I will attend those questions. Okay. The paper will be like this. 1 to 60 questions you can easily solve within 20 seconds to 40 seconds. Okay. 60 to 80 questions. That is 20 questions. It will come in 40 seconds to 60 seconds. Okay, the next 80 to 20 questions, that is remaining 80 to 100, that is remaining 20 questions, will consume 60 seconds to 100 seconds, that is 1 point, 1 minute, 40 seconds it will take. Okay, so this is how the paper will be, easy, moderate, difficult. Our target is easy and medium, difficult we will only focus on 5 to 6 marks. Okay, so make sure you can easily do. If you do set A, set B in stats, maximum set A and set B questions will be tested. Set C questions will be tested rarely for 3 marks to 4, 5 marks. Put together in entire statistics. So make sure you are focusing majorly on A and B and last priority should be given to C. Okay, in mathematics, all the exercise problem if you do along with this, if you do additional question bank, it is more than sufficient to clear your exam. And after all this is done, you can do MTP in this 1.5 days revision. This everything you have already done it in your regular classes. Now it's a time for revision. You can focus us on MTP. Now getting back, we have done. Now we will getting into the bed at 11 p.m. and then we will we will start a fresh start on the day two that is on 3rd Jan. On 3rd Jan from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. we will do statistical description of data and measures of central tendency in each and every session do formulas plus MTP. Okay, formulas plus MTP as usual 12 MTPs. 6 attempts 12 MTPs. Okay, 9 to 10 a.m. we will take us some breakfast break and and we will fresh up and we will kick start our at 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's a three hour slot we have allocated. In between, you will take a breaks. You will do the next important chapter measures of dispersion. 
then correlation and regression we will do. Okay, then we will take a lunch break and if you want, you can take a small nap on, on that time and we will start our next session, next slot at next to three half slot from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. It's a single start start I have put. In between, if you want, you can take 10 to 15 minutes break. In the slot, we will just move on to, we have done with nearly 20 percentage in statistics and logical reasoning we have completed. Now we will move on to mathematics, ratio, proportion, log and indices. You can do it in one half. Just revise all those laws, all those regular rules which are there in proportion. Then you will study. If you know ratios, then only proportions you can easily do. Then if you need indices, then only logs will be easier for you. Do it in this order. Then 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. in the next single stage, we, the next two hours we will do equation without solving, without framing an equation, we can solve those each and every problem. Okay, so you can easily do it. Then from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., you will take a break. Okay, from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., you will do a statistics part index number. Okay, then from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m., you will do theoretical distribution, which is from statistics. From 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., we will take our dinner break. Okay, and we will come back at 9 p.m. and we will little bit extended our section till 11 p.m., Okay, 11 p.m. we will do probability and random variable. Random variable compulsorily you need to do. Probability it is up to you whether you will need to know some basics, dice problem, cards problem. Like this you need to do, you can do it. Okay, here what I have marked is in yellow is A category. Then what I have marked in blue is B category. What I have marked in violet is C category. Then our day three, our examination day, the last before the exam, that is before the last exam, that is economics before it's mathematics, correct? That's how third day we will start, the fourth day, one more, another two days to finish your exams and you will you'll be very wondering that you have cleared those exams in this attempt. Then 4-1-2023, you will have an exam day, most crucial day in this entire CA foundation. Many of them are feeling difficulty in this paper only. It is not because of the portion. It is only because of the pattern testing. Because the whatever the portion you are studying in CA foundation, those who are already been tested in your 8th, 9th, 10th, some in 11th standard, some in 12th standard and put together only they are asking. Did you agree with that? If it is yes, your only time is based on the time management, what I have told before, few minutes before this in this video. Now, at 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., we will do sequence and series, another interesting area to be learned. And we will do linear inequality. Guaranteed one mark, maximum two to three marks. Okay. Once you have studied, maximum you will take 30 minutes to revise linear inequalities or less than that. Remaining time should be given as per your ratios and proportions to sequence and series. Then A to you will slightly consume less time for breakfast because it is an exam day. 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. we will do our breakfast and from 8.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. we will do differential calculus and integral calculus basics. Then maxima and minima is a compulsory thing you need to do. Application of derivatives in economics is a mandatory thing you need to do. Once you've done with the basic formulas, immediately go to these two parts and do. Then come back and do the other basic problems. Basic formulas, maxima, minima, application of derivatives in econo economics. And you will come back and then you will do basic problems. Okay, from 10.30 to 11.30, quickly you will go through basic formulas. Permutation is completely different. Okay, combination you can easily do. But at the same time, you will just remember all those formulas. Even each and this chapter will come for 5 to 6 mark means basic question will be for 2 marks to 3 marks. The remaining 3 questions will be my maximum difficulty problem. So make sure you are focusing on this marks to secure this marks in your examination. After 11.30 a.m., don't study anything, okay? Don't, do not study anything. Just revise it. Don't study anything new. 
okay 2 pm to 4 pm don't even panic by looking at the question paper be calm be sit in your exam place just keep calm if they given a rough paper do it in a rough paper if they don't give it in a rough paper on each and every page below the question paper you will do okay below the question paper you will do may some of them will say you need to do it in the last page of the question paper okay but what i will tell you if you uh, turn the page and mark it and work out the problem it will consume lots and lots of time at the invigilator to provide rough sheet some of the some of the exam centers will provide rough sheet some of the exam centers will not provide rough sheet don't panic don't be tensed if they provide, do it in the rough sheet. If they don't provide, at the below of each and every page, you can do it. And simply, if you have time, erase it. Or else, at the last time, you can do. Or else, even though you can just give it the paper and come back. Okay, do this. Okay. Then, first, attend the questions. You know 100% for sure. That uh, 60 seconds, that trick which I have told you in the before, no? That you can do. And... After the 4 p.m., once exam is over, just close this paper 3 and don't even discuss this paper 3. Move on to paper 4 and don't forget to check out our 1.5 days revision study plan for your paper 4 for your sure success in this December 2023 examination. This is a one last time, one final push which we are going to give and you will crack this exam. So always trust the process, always trust us. Thank you. Have a nice day. Do like, share and subscribe to your friends. And share to your friends.